What's up guys? Welcome back to the Fig Heel YouTube channel and today we're going to be doing Unboxamania 77 and I think it's going to be a good one. Stay tuned. Welcome back, everybody, to Unboxamania. This is number 77. I can't even believe that we're doing 77 different Unboxamanias with multiple figures in each. It's absolutely wild. So many figures unboxed. Um, in the early ones, we were doing like 15 figures in a video. Absolutely crazy. But if you're new to the channel, what it is, I have a bin full of action figures below me. I do not look. I reach down. I grab one out. We unbox it we review it we talk about it we move on we do four or five different figures in each one it's a lot of fun and you never know what you're gonna get but you know what you're gonna get if you order the wrestling figure encyclopedia it's available now on amazon.com or you can just go to heelbooks.com features are forward by xavier woods this is the modern edition 2010 to 2023 so if you are a modern collector elites ultimates basics they're all in here every single one all the mattel products a picture for everything AEW, uh, Major Wrestling Figure Podcast, Ringside Collectibles, Cella Toys, uh, Hastel Toy, you name it, it is in here. Rush Collectibles, uh, Legends of Lucha Libre. This is a key item to have in your collection. Full color and black and white are available. And uh, trust me, if you get it, you're not going to want to, you're, you're not going to want to miss out on this. You're definitely going to want to get it and you're not going to regret it. So we're going to get right into it and start unboxing some figures. I want to dig deep on this one. It's a superstar, and I'm excited about that. It is the Beast from the East, Bam Bam Bigelow, the man from Asbury Park. Greetings from Asbury Park. If you play with fire, you're going to get burned. This is the set, Series 6, that had Bam Bam, Perfect, Piper, and Hogan with the chase. Um, love the line art on these. I love the carding and everything like that. Very cool. I have this mint on card, found another one to open. So that's exactly what we are going to do. Gonna take out the accessory pack right there. I always like keeping the name tag for the uh, accessories. Cause Lord knows I lose them. to talk about this one because he does have all of his tattoos which is not very common for this uh line of figures so in here it just has interchangeable hands um i don't really have the need especially since he has two fists to do that so what i do as i was saying is i like to put the tape from the name tag there and boom i know whose hands these are because sometimes it's hard to tell but wow all right so let's start off I like taking off the cloth goods first and inspecting everything. Very cool decal. I like how they're always two in one figures, right? A lot of nice deco on that. The flames, that tank top style um, outfit. It's got the fireballs there, fireballs there, down the back. Really nice looking figure, but the key tattoo, right? The head, the flames on the head looks great. You gotta love it. Uh, the tattoos on the arms. The one on the biceps a little blurry, but we got the eagle there. Another eagle there. Looks like that's a sun inside. Got a cobra. Real nice. Um, poor deco hits on this one. I want you to look at the um, laces. The laces are not in line with the actual moldings that are kind of off printed which i noticed that before i opened it um but it is what it is i do love these figures um i think they scale pretty well with the original AWAs, but not perfect however um we recently got the all-stars from asylum and they're much smaller than those uh for anybody who was hoping to grow their collection that way 
Um, I like to collect lines separately, so it doesn't really bother me, but I know that matters to people. Um, put the cloth goods on so we can look at it. I think the way to display this is quite obviously with the cloth goods on. It's just like, it's so much more toyetic. It does cover his tattoos a little bit, but I mean, look at that. The head is amazing. Looks like they went back in time, scanned Bam Bam and shrunk him down into a little plastic man. Very nice job, Mattel, on this Series 6 Bam Bam Bigelow. I dig it. All right, let's do another one. All right, we got a basic. And it is... Oh, the new Hulk Hogan, Series 142. This is the set that has the Undertaker, Charlotte Flair, Honky Tonk Man, who is the chase, and first time in a line, Top Dalla. Look at the young Terry Boulder right there. Mr. Terry Balea, Hulk Hogan, the Hulkster, Hollywood. Signature move is the leg drop. Let's just rip right into this. It's a basic. We don't got to spend too much time on it. Um, I am digging these new basics. I think they are a win for collectors around the clock. Uh, this is a very cool figure. Look, the headband comes off, which is nice. I always like removing everything and talking about it. But this figure was initially supposed to be in the Walmart exclusive, then now forever, two packs um, with John Cena. Uh, it was not supposed to have a shirt on, obviously. Not supposed to have the leg articulation, obviously. Um, and it was not supposed to have um, the true effects. So even though I was upset we didn't get it back then, I feel like we won here um, by waiting. So it's got a much better head scan on the Hulkster there. True effects looks great. The Hulkamania shirt cut and, you know, tattered around the edges. The cuts in the back, arms are jacked. Great tan. The original was not going to have a great tan. He's got the workout gloves on, the blue workout pants with the stripes down them, and even has the old school ankle articulation, which that makes me happy. Let's put the Hulkster headband on. Um, this is that small font Hulkster headband that he used to wear, which I think is so awesome. Look at that. I mean, you're talking about a man with 24 inch pythons look at that you what you gonna do brother i'm loving this uh, this uh, leg articulation you can do so much look i can do the big boot now on a figure i can do his actual leg drop on a on a figure i mean these are actual playable and now i think a lot of people are going to start mixing into their collection basics so Instead of being mostly for like, you know, the cheap way to get your kids into collecting, now I think a lot of collectors are gonna be buying these. So this is a game changer for Mattel and collectors alike. So very excited to, to see this, but man, this figure is beautiful. This may be one of the best basics in the entire Mattel line. It's so good. And I know people are sick of Hulk, but man, this is a great figure. So much articulation in this one. All right, let's go. That's why I wanted to get an Elite. I can feel it. We got Elite Series 102, Austin Theory. This was on my list for uh, one of the worst figures of the year. Uh, Atlanta, Georgia, 6 feet 1 inches, 220 pounds. The ATL is his finisher. United States champion, Money in the Bank winner. After being the youngest Money in the Bank winner and youngest United States champion, Austin Theory proved that he is the now. A-Town down. We got Edge. Austin Theory was the chase. Gunther. Sami Zayn, Commissioner Foley, and Rhea Ripley. Speaking of rip, we're going to rip right into this figure, and we're going to talk about it. Wow. All right. Got two heads in here. Very controversial heads. He's got a phone that I do not want him to drop, so i got to be careful. Wow, that, his hand does not grip that phone very well. So, very, he 
He's not loose, but he's not tight. Let's talk about it, baby. So, he's got the smiling face here. The teeth are really weird. Um, he does have, so, you know, gum showing when he smiles, but not like that. Uh, he's got the Theory T all day on this knee pad. The Theory T on the crotch. Theory on the back. The T there. That, like, uh, Captain America looking vest. Absolutely vascular in the arms, which I think is, you know, pretty fitting for him. Dude has um, some pretty epic arms. And uh, I think that he could probably benefit from a little bit larger on the figure. All day on the wrist tape there. AT on the wrist tape there. Take that off. We're going to put this on. And it is the selfie face where he would make that face in a selfie. I actually took a selfie with him and he made this face. But it's a little bit odd and there's literally a gaping hole in his mouth. Like I feel like I could put something in there. It's like... That's not just painted, that is a hole. The eyes, it's just an odd looking head. I know what they were going for, I just don't think it worked. AT on the um, boots. And we've got his cell phone, which is clearly modeled after an iPhone that I'll show you. And on the back, he's got the three camera lenses. You put it in his hand and it does not hold it. It completely slips out. Probably gotta squeeze his hand a little bit. Kind of scary for that accessory. But yeah, he does not hold that. Um, if he held it, it'd probably be a little bit cooler. Let me see if he can hold it in his other hand. So. It's better in the other hand. Right there, taking that selfie looks pretty cool. The heads are just not great. So, I mean, I think it's deserving of not being one of the best figures of 2023. All right, let's open something else. All right, what do we got? All right, this is the Bendy. Nice, we have the... Um, Sergeant Slaughter, Bendy. Um, here's the card. It's got the camo. Got him bending the Major Bendy sign. It's got his signature there. The military fatigues are all around the back. Attention maggots. Nice artwork right there by TTD of the man himself. Mr. Sergeant Slaughter. Who has a big rubber guy coming and quite a few repaints of this Major Bendy. Uh, the hat is very wavy. I wish the hat was removable, to be honest with you. Kind of like the Matt Cardona. Uh, he's got the military um, fatigues. This is basically a direct remake of the original Hasbro. Black tank, the camo pants. Um, he doesn't have the... He doesn't have like all the tactical stuff on the belt like the Hasbro does. But the boots are clearly molded for slaughter here. Black wrist tape. The hat is just super wavy and comes down. It does have the gold symbol on there, which I like. And the likeness on the face is probably one of the best ones that the uh, Bendies have done. Gotta love the embossed signature on the back. That is a key component for me of major Bendies. So, all right, four figures. Let's do one more, see what we can get. All right, we have another Superstars. It is Series 6, Mr. Perfect. It says, Mr. Perfect. Nobody beats Mr. Perfect. Nobody. Perfect Plex. Obviously, we talked about this. The line art's really great. Looks just like Kurt. Gotta love the green. I don't think we've ever gotten green singlet Mr. Perfect. So this is exciting. Okay. And not many figures in this line have come with um, title belts. So another thing to be excited about is he comes with the Intercontinental title. Granted, it is just like any other um, 
old school IC title basically that we've gotten. But we will talk about it in a second. So when the singlet comes off, might be easier to just take his arms off. For those of you who didn't know, the arms and everything are removable. Let's just take a look at what's under. Huh. So he's got black trunks with the white, a white design on the back. I wonder what that represents. Is that supposed to be like AWA Kurt Henning? Or is that like WCW? I need to do a little bit of research. I, no, I don't think WCW. It's got to be earlier in his career when he wore trunks. So that's interesting. Um, black knee pads. Mr. P on the boots, the white boots. He's absolutely jacked. I want to talk about this singlet because I am very excited about it. All right. So, green singlet on the on the front, on the back. The black is stitched into it and comes down into that taper, which he, you know, he's known for having. And honestly, this is a really great head sculpt. Cartoony, but looks just like Kurt. Um, almost like Kurt in a cartoon. It's uh, very impressive how they were able to pull that off. Um, I, I dig that. I dig that a lot. And we'll look at the belt real quick. The Intercontinental Championship title belt right here. The gold vac style, blue on the uh, globe, and some black behind the Intercontinental Heavyweight Pro Wrestling Championship. Um, this is the old school one. It's even got the old 2010 uh, imprinting on it. So sometimes belts are hard to get on new figures, and this was like pretty darn easy, which I like. So pretty cool. I like this figure. Not probably my favorite Superstars figure, but the green really pops and it's going to look great on that shelf over there. So that is all the time we have today for Unbox and Mania. Today we unbox Superstar Series 6, Bam Bam Bigelow, and Mr. Perfect. The new um, Series, what was it, 142? Hulk Hogan, Series 102, uh, Austin Theory, and the Major Bendy's uh, Sergeant Slaughter. So... Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at FigHeel. X is at the Fig Heel. Pick up the Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia available now on Amazon.com. Search Fig Heel Encyclopedia or just go to HeelBooks.com and make sure you join WhatNot at WhatHeel.com and you will get $15 off your first purchase. We will see you on the next one. Hope you guys like this. Comment. Let me know what your favorite figure is that we opened up today. Later, guys. Peace. Are you a wrestling figure collector of WWE Mattel, AEW Jazzwares, and everything in between? Then you need Fig Heels Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia, the modern edition covering all releases from 2010 to present day. Featuring over 5,000 photos of action figures from the hottest brands including independent toy makers. Keep track of what you have, want, and need including loose, mock, and overall collection value. With a Ford by WWE superstar Xavier Woods and shots by Matthew Goldberg, the Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia is a must-have for collectors. Premium, full-color, and value black and white editions available now on Amazon.com. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fig Heel. Pick up my book series on Amazon and my merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com slash Fig Heel. Join my official sponsor, Whatnot, at WhatHeel.com and receive $15 off your first purchase.